computer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Good afternoon and welcome. Shabbat Shalom. Happy Sabbath. Welcome to the blessed Sabbath day and worship. So it's Sabbath refreshing Zoom. And today we're talking about the word that dwells among us. Hallelujah. Well, Thursday was Shimkat Torah. And we know that. And what that means is, is, is um, it's a day when the Jews, uh, Jewish people um, display their gratitude to God for giving the gift, his great gift of his word, right? Unfortunately, many do not understand the same way many Christians don't today that the according to the truth of God that is revealed in John chapter 1, verse 1 and verse 14. And I'll read in your hearing, and we know that those who read the word of God are blessed. Those who hear the word of God are blessed. And when we apply the word of God to our lives, um, we are successful. To God be the glory. See, it says, in, uh, John reminded us, he said, in the beginning was the word, definite article, the word. And the word was with God and the word became flesh and dwelled among us. He made his dwelling among us and he was full of grace and truth in verse 14. The Bible tells us that grace and truth came by Christ Yeshua and he, the word of God is spirit, it's alive, it's truth. And unfortunately, many of us are not aware of the truth of God. You see the Torah, the word, the Bible is Yeshua, right? He is the way in which we should walk and the way in which we should work and do what He bid, what God bids us to do. And we can read that in, you know what, I'll just read it for you because, hey, it's not long. It's just a few of us. So huh, why not? Let me just read. Um, Psalm 119, verse 1. Hallelujah, glory to God in the highest. It says, you're truly happy when you walk in, in total integrity, walking in the light of God's words. I, You know, it is unfortunate today that um, and in the King James Version, it says, blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. It is unfortunate today that whenever one tries to abide by the word of God, there are many times that they're ridiculed, ridiculed by the very persons that they shouldn't be ridiculed by at times. It is one thing when, you know, uh, the people of the world uh, ridicules something they don't understand that's totally different but when children of god or christians churchgoers do the same that's on a whole totally different level you know it's pretty much the same we look at those who are supposed to uphold the law whether it's a lawyer whether it's our police officers or or, or um from the district attorney's office we look at those who work for any body of law enforcement whenever they're not upholding the law we're like wait what do you see it's like how could that be well, just like doctors right people in the health field when we see them drinking a whole lot of sodas smoking and just doing things that are harmful to their bodies, right? Um, we 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 start to uh, we look at them a certain way, and if it's our doctors that are not practicing what they preach, their whole own health message, then you know more than likely we're likely to walk away from that doctor. Well, many of us, some may still stay, but the point is, if it's 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 just like. Um, I was sharing with someone where I, I went into this restaurant and I saw they had pastries and I asked, I said, um, 
I understand that folks can't recommend things, right? But I asked, you know, how are the cakes? Like, which one do you prefer? And I was told, oh, I don't eat those. Oh, okay, thank you. And I've walked out. I, I went to another restaurant and I was, you know, like when you're on the road a long time and I was hungry and I really couldn't decide. And I was like, for me, because I don't cook with salt like that, I usually ask, is the meat salty? So I asked, you know, like, how is this? Is it salty? I don't know. Um, well, can you ask the, the chef? Looking at me like, oh, the chef isn't here. Well, so I'm like, okay, which one of these meats are the less salty, of, of the least saltiest? I don't eat it. Oh, sorry, I'm not buying food here. So I just walk out. No apologies, really. My thing is, if you are selling food, whatever we're doing, if we're, I'm talking to you about Christ, but I'm not following his word, then why should you listen to me? Um, that's be like, I'm a charlatan, right? I'm not going to cook food or work in a restaurant that the food is no good or that I don't eat the food. Because when I'm hungry, that's more than likely the food that I'm going to eat, right? So I just say that to say, you know, that God wants us to um, uh, participate and follow the word of God. He's walking his word. Oh, and Exodus 18 and 20. Sorry, didn't read that, but I'm going to do so now because I said I would. Hallelujah, glory to God. Um, and it reads, and thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws and show them the way therein, wherein they must walk and the work that they must do. We we tend to think that we're here, but we don't ha have any instructions in which to follow how we live our lives. We do absolutely have instructions from God Almighty on how we should live our laws, uh, our lives. Sorry. Um, we used to, I used to say, let me talk about me. I used to say, oh, you know, God gave us babies and he gave us no instruction manuals. You know, <laughs> it wasn't true because each and every one of us came with the same instruction manual, not a different one. Uh, you know, we're different in different ways. However, the what is so um, profound and uh, omnipotent about the word of God is that it can fit suit to each and every one of us as individuals. So as I said before, on Thursday, many Jews, and you may have seen them with the, uh, the 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 green and yellow floras, you know, waving the banners, you know, wherever, you know, in different communities. Um, and so it was a day on which they were displaying their gratitude to God for giving him, for giving them the written word. Well, as I said before, um, many Jews do not accept Christ as Messiah, many Jews, and many of us as Christians, even though we're in church, we're not celebrating Christ like that. We don't. And that is just the truth of God. See, the Torah, which is the word, definite article, which is Yeshua, is life. Bible tells us it's life to us and medicine to our flesh. The life that by which we are sustained by and so I read the other one, and then Proverbs 13 and 14 tells us when the lovers of God teach you truth, a foundation of life opens up within you. See, the word of God will always bring life, and their wise instruction will deliver you from the ways of death. And as I said, the Bible said, Um, what it's life to us and medicine to our flesh. We are more apt and more quick to take medicines that are synthesized so it's synthetic um they will have some kind of a side effect it may not affect each and every one of us however they do all have side effects it says so right there and on the bottles or sometimes the pharmacist will print out even longer um uh side effect uh uh, uh 
that can have effects that are, can be adverse to our health. And, and still we hear the word of God is medicine, literal medicine. And what if we were living by his word? An ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. If we if it's not broken, we won't have to fix it. If it's not cut, we won't have to sew it up, right? And so we see this. And, it, you know, um, it kind of, in a way, saddens me a bit that we don't really celebrate the source of our being the way our Jewish brothers and sisters um, celebrate the word, you know, the given, the written, the Torah, right? We don't celebrate our source. Who is the nucleus of our existence? You see, Yeshua, all things are held together by him. And we know the protein in our bodies, right? I don't remember the name of it, but there's a protein in our bodies that holds our cells, our why we don't fall apart, why we don't just rot away is in the shape of a cross. I forget the name of it. Um, lemon, lemonin, I believe it is, but you can always Google it and see it for yourself. See, the thing is, um, Yeshua is our redeemer. And John reminds us of this in his chapter 14 and verse 6, he reads, I am where Yeshua said, I am the way, the and the truth, and the life. The way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It's right there. So he is the word, definite article. He is the way, the way to God. He is the truth. We like to say, let me speak my truth. But many times our truths are convoluted. Our truths are a little bit skewed by our perception or our, you know, and the life. And so we see where he is the word and the fulfillment of the purpose of the written word. You see, we can therefore say that this of the Torah, of the Bible, which is Yeshua, that it was penned by man as the spoken word of God and the inspired word from God through living examples to assist us, to teach us how to navigate our lives here on earth. You see... Many Jews dance around the Bema. And the Bema is simply uh, the podium from which the word, the Torah, is always read. Now, and for those of us who are Christians, whoever see this video, you let me know. When was the last time any one of us who are Christians ever went and danced around the podium, you know, the pulpit? from which the word is preached or taught. Anyone? Anytime? I don't think so. I don't know. Never seen it. But the thing is, uh, and as I said, and they carried banners, the, the green and yellow floras that you saw uh, through the streets, proclaiming those who know knew that they were celebrating the word. And yet, it's, it has stated that 99% of Jewish people do not accept Yeshua as the Messiah. However, for us who are Christians, listen, are we going through the streets proclaiming Christ as the Messiah? Matter of fact, I would say no, not many. There are those. And as I said, many have been ridiculed, many have been shunned. And there are those who are afraid to speak the name of Yeshua in public. I think, in my opinion, we need to celebrate. Yeah, well, it's my opinion <laughs> that we need to celebrate Yeshua because his instructions 
right? Contains all the wisdom on how to live healthy, happy, successful, and prosperous lives. When we look in the pages of the word, and I've been doing some teachings that the Holy Spirit have instructed or inspired and you know led me to, and I've been sharing messages about our bodies and our hearts, the heart being the first organ to be formed with the blood vessels, the 60,000 uh, miles of blood vessels, right? And, and I said, wow, because God instructs us at all times, guard your hearts for out of it are the, uh, the issues of life. Um, a merry heart do it good as a medicine, but a sad heart dries the bones. And, you know, the heart is the pump of our bodies. It, 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 therefore, it, it, it's between the body and the head. You know, there's actually a barrier. <laughs> when I think of, you know, scientifically, the way God designed us, how awesome is our God. And so I pray that we spend more time reading the word of God. We spend more time with God. And whenever we spend time with the word, no, we're spending time with Yeshua because he is the written word that was made flesh, as I read in John 1 and 1. And so, you see, Yeshua and the written word, is, the written word is God's moral guidelines for us to live in righteousness and benefit from the blessings that Daddy God has stacked up this earth with so that we can live well and flourish. It's not his will that we are sick, but it is his will. It is his will that we what? Be healthy and prosperous. Be in good health and prosper as our souls prosper. And so many souls aren't prospering. And we don't realize that there's a connection because when our souls aren't prospering, nothing else is. See, the thoughts, they go awry and we start to develop those neural pathways that is just created and cells are just dying on that path, just dying. And did you know that we have stem cells stored up in our bodies and that when we exercise, we release them and they go to whatever area needs it, whatever organ needs it, the brain, the heart, the lungs, the livers. However, when we are filled up with certain things, whether it's synthetic things or it's just hateful, hurtful ways of thinking, then we block ourselves from being repaired and being healed. Hallelujah, glory to God. Not the hallelujah to preventing from being, because that is a mercy. Mercy, Lord. The hallelujah, glory to God, is that how God has created our bodies with that internal mechanism to release the whatever it is we, re, we we need whether it's 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 the enzymes whether the whether it's the stem cells or whatever it is we need what to protect us or to heal us he has placed that inside of us how awesome is god oh i don't know about you i just want to jump i want to uh 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 hallelujah mm -hmm. it's hard to sustain myself right now Ooh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I thank you. I truly, truly thank you. Hallelujah. And not only has God placed inside of us, he's also placed inside of us his Holy Spirit, who, by the way, quickens our mortal bodies. Praise the Lord. And just as the Talmud, which is an interpretation of the Torah, it's the interpretations, right? It consists of the interpretations. We have the Holy Spirit of God, who is the interpreter of God's penned words. We need enlightenment. We need divine revelation. 
his Holy Spirit will do just that for us. So I close with this. It is a new year that God has ordained. It is the new beginnings, filled with new beginnings. And so I pray that as we read God's word in this time, and interestingly, um, we, on Thursday, as I said, when they, uh, when when the Shimkat Torah was being celebrated, which I explained, you know, celebrating the word, uh, they were reading the end of Deuteronomy, and now begins. They have begun to the Jewish people have begun to read Genesis now. My prayer is this, that as we have entered into a new year that God has ordained, the 87, you know, his year, um, 57, sorry, <laughs> um, with new beginnings, right? I pray that as we read God's word from here on, from Genesis to Revelation or wherever he leads us to read, I'm not saying that you need to go all the way to Genesis. However, if he tells you start there, you start there. As we read the word of God on a daily basis, whatever chapter and verse he leads us to or chapters, I pray that his Holy Spirit will give us new insights and new revelations on how to live more productive, more successful, healthier, more moral uh, uh, prosperous lives. And so that is my prayer for each and every one of us every time we open the word of God. And may we be reminded that every time we open the word, we're looking at Yeshua. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs>